All right, what's up everyone? It's your boy, Master Blinksy, back again with another video. Today we're going to be looking at this fake Dr. Zodiac's clear cart. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to uh, look at this because I've been wanting to get my hands on some Dr. Zodiac's for a while. And even though I got a fake, I'm okay with it because I get to show you guys how to tell a real one from a fake one. Um, and I think these are pretty popular, so I think this is a video that definitely should be made, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so before I go any further, it seems like there's something missing. Uh, let me see. All right, that looks a little bit better, I think. Um, I think we're looking a bit more familiar in the new setup, so let's continue with the review. First off, this is fake packaging for Dr. Zodiac's Clear. Um, the Dr. Zodiac's Clear packaging actually looks really dope. This looks pretty cool, but I'll show you guys what the real packaging looks like right now. All right, what's up, you guys? So. I was actually, no, I was actually kind of wrong, or I was wrong, not kind of wrong. I was wrong when I was talking about the packaging. This is what the Frosty's package looks like. Let me try to zoom in so we can see it better. The picture won't get bigger. Even if I do that, it doesn't help. But you can see that the package is the same, although it does look like it comes with a sticker and it should always come with a battery. That being said, homie I bought it from could have taken the battery, but I still think mine is a fake because it's a Jupiter, because it has no battery, and because it has no sticker. Um, I think if we look up Dr. Zodiac, uh, Frosties, no not Forsties, Frosty, I cannot spell. If we look up Dr. Zodiac's Frosty, it'll come up with these, or like this video, and I know Eric Khan did a video on his, on them too. Um, but I think the biggest thing that I want to show is, let me see if that picture will zoom, hopefully. It's from Lifted and I don't really like trust them as a source usually, but can you see how thin that chimney is and how thin that C-cell bottom is? C-cell atomizers always look like this, they have a very thin chimney and a sort of fat bottom but not as fat as the one I have um, to hold that ceramic coil inside. That's why I really think mine's a fake because it's not an actual C-cell atomizer and it's pretty easy to just brand any atomizer like another. Um, you see it all the time in fakes. So yeah, let me get back into the actual video now. I just wanted to come and show this real quick. On this box it says that there's 90 plus percent or 90 percent plus THC in this. Upload a pic slash video smoking this product to win merch. Uh, I don't know why they're encouraging you to flex a fake cart that's kind of fucked up. Um, but you know, <laughs> uh, it has the snow cone clear at Dr. Zodiac on the bottom and this, uh, California label. It has, where is it? It has snowman on the side and a California label somewhere on here. I know I saw it. Yeah, right there. California label right on the back above the another government warning and frosty snow cone clear. Uh, the box, I'm not really a fan of. It feels kind of cheap. Um, obviously whoever had it before me was like fucking with it. But that's fine. This is the actual cart though. It has a snowman on the front and it's a sea cell cart. But uh, if y'all can see how thick that bar is, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I will say one good thing about this cart, or at least the guy I bought this from, he was really trying to encourage me to not get this cart. He, I, uh, <laughs> I was talking to him and he's like, yo, these carts honestly aren't even that good. I have much better stuff. Are you sure you want this cart? I'm like, yeah, bro. I really want that Dr. Zodiac's cart. I didn't tell him I was going to make a video on it, but yeah, that's why I wanted it. So I could show you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the bottom of it. As you can see, it's been leaking a bit, so that's also a bit shitty. And it says Jupiter C-Cell, and it has a serial number on it. So even though it has these three things on the bottom, you can see that it has that white O-ring, which also means it's a fake. Um, and again, that bar is the biggest telltale sign. But anyway, you know what happens next. Now I'm gonna actually toke on the cart and tell you guys if it's decent. But uh, first I'm gonna clean off the bottom so I don't mess up any of my batteries. So I'll be back in a second. One thing I do wanna mention while I'm pre-eating it though, there's no air bubble in this cart. I can't find one, so I'm probably about to make one. Cheers. So that, 
<laughs> That's really interesting. This cart tastes really good. It almost tastes sort of like I'm trying a dessert right now. If I had to describe it in my own words, I would say it's like if cinnamon and nutmeg were made into like a Laffy Taffy flavor, then that would be what this tastes like exactly. Uh, let me take another hit. Cheers. this cart rip so I just felt that hit in my soul but it tasted really good I'm already starting to feel a buzz and I'm getting dab sweats but I will say I haven't really smoked all day all I smoked was like one bowl so I might just have low tolerance right now um either way I'm gonna take one last hit to see if I get like a full-blown high and then I'm gonna check back in tomorrow to give you guys a full rundown of the cart so one last time before tomorrow cheers It tastes really good, y'all. Like, I'll hit it through a dab cap tomorrow to show you guys how the cloud production is on this cart. But I'm still not even seeing an air bubble, but I'm getting some really nice hits from it. So, positive opinions of this Dr. Zodiac cart so far. And I'll check back in tomorrow. See ya. Alright, I'm back. What's up? So, I've spent a whole day and night with this cart now, and I definitely have some good opinions of it. But first off, let's take a hit. Cheers. <laughs> So first off, the biggest thing I'm realizing with this cart is that it hits harsh as hell. Like, usually when it comes to some carts, when it, they're fakes, I can still hit them and like still feel sort of smooth hit. Um, let's talk about those TKOs that I just got. Or um, even some of the dank vapes, they're not as harsh as like this cart is. And while sometimes I would think that makes it a real cart because maybe the wax is just hitting me harder, the fact that this atomizer is fake, it's not a C-cell, it's a Jupiter, which is owned by C-cell, but it's still not the same kind of atomizers that Zodiacs use. Paired with like how much this cart just tastes like flavoring versus actual weed, really, really leads me to believe it's a fake, which makes sense because like I said, homie was really trying to talk me out of getting this cart. Um, the hits are very, very harsh. My throat kills after taking one. And I would say it takes around three to four hits to get high. Like, not even a buzz, a full high. Two hits for a buzz. Um, but that being said, the highs on this cart are kind of, like, weird, where you feel sort of creative and talkative, and you, like, I don't know. I really just wanted to, like, play some Minecraft or, like, talk to my sister or talk to friends. Um, but I didn't really, like, feel energized enough to actually, like, do anything. So, definitely a perfect night strain, but I would not suggest this for a daytime use at all. Um, if you hit the cart a bit too much, it will put you right to sleep. Um, actually, the reason this video is a bit late was because when I was testing this cart this morning, it knocked me out for like five hours, even though I set my alarm to be able to wake up and film this video on time, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, overall, I would give this cart a 7 out of 10. <laughs> I would say a 7 out of 10 because of how harsh this cart hits and because when compared to other carts that I've had, it doesn't feel like it's knocking any of them out of the park, it just feels a bit above average. All in all, the biggest unfortunate thing about this cart is that it's either average or slightly above average than most of the other carts I've hit and it's below average when it comes to the smoothness. Would I suggest a fake Dr. Zodiac's cart? I honestly can't really suggest these in good conscience because I don't know if it's hitting harsh because of chemicals that it's cut with or if it's the bad atomizer, but either way, I don't really trust bad atomizers because I know that sometimes if they use metal coils, they can leak chemicals into your wax and then you're just harming yourself each time you take a hit. So I wouldn't suggest one of these because of how harsh it is and because I can't personally figure out where that harshness is coming from. Let's go ahead and sesh. I'm gonna be using my broken hemper piece. I don't remember if I told you all the story, but um, I had this on one of my cabinets and CJ jumped on top and knocked a plate onto the piece so it broke the stem off and I had to hot glue it back. I'm scared to clean this piece. So I'm only using it with like carts and dabs um, because I don't wanna mess up the hot glue that I put on it. But yeah, we're just gonna be using this broken classic piece and cheers. 
my car was dead or my battery turned off <laughs> so now cheers Cheers again. <laughs> All right, let me give my lungs a little second to recover, and then we'll take another dip. So instead of that hemp or pineapple, I'm gonna take this last cart or dab cap rip through the paint can I got from Daily High Club. So, cheers. I'm gonna give this card a little bit of time to reset and then I'll take a blinker and that'll be the end of the video. Before I take the blinker though, I just wanna say thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you think that this is a fake or a real card because honestly, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to figure it out for sure. I think it's a fake because of how thick the chimney is, the harshness of it and the flavoring, but unfortunately I haven't had first experience with one of these. So if you're watching this and you have, please let me know if your experience sounds along the lines of mine or if you've had a different one. Either way, I'm Master Blinksy. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all later.